All right, it's Pipes Drums here with Jack Lee of Surrey, British Columbia, fresh off of his 2021 Glenfiddich Championship. It's November 4th. Jack, welcome home, as it were, and congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'm very, very happy, and it was a great trip, but I'm also very happy to be home. Yeah, I bet. Um, you know, at age 63, I think it is, uh, you might be the oldest Glenfiddich champion. Pretty sure you are. And this year it was uh, coincidentally 40 years since your first appearance at the contest. What motivates you to keep going at such a level? Okay, well, that's a good question. Uh, quite a few things motivate me. Um, I do have an, a lot of passion for the instrument for reasons which I cannot explain. I've, that has never diminished. I'm still very excited about the instrument and I still feel like I have a lot to learn. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to improve. I'm very excited about trying to improve and learning and stuff. Um, some specific things I, I'm extremely passionate about are trying to get the great sound, that great sound that we're all striving for. I just love the journey of trying to get that. And um, I, I truly love playing P-Brock. And I, I play it a lot and I really enjoy it. And I like to hear other people play it and study other people playing it. And yeah. uh, I just find bagpipes are so much fun. And I get such a kick out of watching other people having fun playing bagpipes, whether they're young or not young. Um, I'm really excited about helping people on that journey. So I feel like I have a lot of passion for the instrument still inside me. And um, that's keeping me going. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, some people, some people do know, a lot of people don't know that you are definitely the first Glenfiddich champion to have won or even played there, I would think, playing a bagpipe, a bag, and I think uh, to a certain extent reads uh, that you made or your business made. Uh, what does that mean to you? Well, it puts a smile on my face, for sure. And we're very proud of that. And the instrument is really good and the bags and stuff. And they really suit me. I feel like I can get the sound that I want to get um, with that bagpipe and, and the bag particularly. So I've been playing, you know, Andrew, my son, made the pipes. And, uh, and, we, and we make a lot of pipe bags. But I'm playing a zippered sheepskin bag, which really, really suits me because I like to play a sheepskin when I can to get that sheepskin sound, but I don't want to fight moisture issues when I go to Scotland. So I don't know, it just, it feels great. And, and uh, you know, we're very proud of that for sure. Yeah, it's really extraordinary. Uh, and, you know, we, we talked about it a, a few months ago when we got together some, uh, some uh, let's say older players like yourself uh, and talked about that the, uh, the advent of, of players playing further into their careers into the uh upper ages past 40 uh 50 60 even uh and we're seeing more of that happening uh and doing it successfully uh are the 70s possible i think the 70s are possible but i also think they're unlikely i um you know going through these various decades in my life uh, piping in my 20s in comparison to now, it just seems so easy. I didn't work particularly hard and it was fun and, and it flowed right along and all of that. And as you get older, it's not as easy. You know, your body has things going on. You have to a analyze and work harder and, you know, take, try to fix this and fix that. And I just think um, it's when I know what I'm doing now in my sixties to think of 10 years or down the road or something. Wow. That would be more and more, obstacles to overcome never say never but i think uh i think it's un unlikely well we can in their 70s to play at the top level but yeah if we can only hope uh don't know. here's a question for you who's a better player uh jack lee of 1981 when you won the gold medal and the silver star msr at the northern meeting gaining a an invitation to the Glenfiddich at that time, or Jack Lee of 2021. Who's a better player? Okay, I have not given that much thought, but I would say it's a tie. I think that the the, the the version of me back in 1981 had had more sparkling technique and and bravado and all that kind of stuff. 
but the the piper that I am today is is much more much more deep into the music and the tone and the richness and the history and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you probably lose half a step on the technique and gain a half a step on the the musical interpretation side. So, I don't know. It's probably close enough to being a tie. I think. Great. Yeah. And okay. So you've won the 2021 Glenfiddich. That gives you makes you the first invitee to the 2022 Glenfiddich. Are you already practicing for next year? I'm, I'm <laughs> getting ready for the Glenfiddich is a journey. It's not a flick the switch and I'll start practicing now type of a, an adventure. So um, it starts with me thinking about it and sort of planning ahead a little bit. I've started to think about it, I will say. I've not started to pick up a practice answer and practice. I'm on a little bit of a holiday right now. But uh, some things are happening in my mind, and I'm planning out some tune changes and these sort of things to try to do next year. So I guess you could say I've started, but I really won't get going at it too much until the new year. Well, whatever the case is, we know that uh, you're going to bring it all together, and we'd really look forward to hearing you once again in 2022 at the Glenfiddich and before, of course. And uh, once again, congratulations on your success this year at the Glenfiddich. Thank you very much. Good talking to you. You bet.